Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I decided I would share what it's like getting ready with me using the Morphe 350 palette. I hope you all enjoy. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I first like to start out by just cleansing my face of all the dirts and oils that might have been left over from previous makeup or from just living life and I just like to put that on a damp towel and wash my face and then I'm just gonna brush my teeth quickly because you know it's always good to brush your teeth and then I'm going straight in with some argan oil to moisturize and prep my face and give it a little bit of a luminous effect because I really am going for that dewy finish today I am mixing two dewy luminous primers and just applying that on the high points of my cheeks and then rubbing it in and taking the excess product and putting that on my collarbones to accentuate them as well and then I'm just going to prep my lips with some EOS lip balm and for foundation slash concealer today I'm going to be using this one from Clinique. I will have all the products I use listed down below so you guys can check it out if you'd like and this one is super easy to just pop on and it still gives that luminous finish with perfect coverage and I'm just blending this in with my Morphe brush to give my skin a flawless dewy finish. I'm next just taking my Laura Mercier powder and just setting my under eyes and all the places I really want to be highlighted on my face like my chin and my nose and my forehead as well and then I'm just taking a bigger fluffy brush a little bit more of that powder to set the rest of my face. I'm next just going in with my Hoola bronzer and just applying that in the hollows of my cheekbones, working that up to the high points of my cheekbones and even down the sides of my nose, around my forehead, giving my face a perfect contoured glowy look a little bit under my lip as well. And of course on my jawline to accentuate that baby and boom, contour is ready. I just absolutely love this contoured look, of course a little bit down my neck. And then I'm just going in with that same fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out so there are no harsh lines. And for my luminizer today, I'm taking the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. And let me tell you, this is the best highlighter ever. I'm just popping that on with a fan brush and intensifying it with a Morphe brush. And then of course going over my collarbones again. And then I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows lightly with this brow powder from e.l.f. and I'm just going over the top of my lines, on my arch, extending my brow a little bit, and then just filling in the rest of the brow. And then just setting that with the Great Lash from Maybelline to make sure those puppies stay in place all day. And then I'm just going to prime my eyes with this jumbo eye pencil from NYX and just apply that all over my eye. And then I'm taking this first color from Morphe. It is almost identical to the color of the jumbo eye pencil in yogurt. And I'm just taking this super burnt orange coppery shade from the Morphe palette, spraying it with a little bit of setting spray to make it really stick and just applying that to my entire lid except for the inner third where I applied most of that highlight. And then I'm just taking the excess on the brush and popping that underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm taking these two orange shades and just warming up the crease a little bit, adding a little bit more warmth, a little bit sunsetty vibes, giving it more an orange shade rather than a coppery shade, and really just warming up the entire eye, taking the excess and also putting that underneath my lash line, and then taking a little bit of this brown and just popping that in the crease to make it a little bit darker. Then I'm just taking this shimmery shade and just popping that on the inner corner to highlight, and then I'm just going right underneath my lash line and hugging some of that same brown super tight to open up the eyes and next I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply a loads and loads of this telescopic mascara and then going over that with my lash sensational because I just can't get enough mascara is my life I'm next just wiping off that lip balm and any excess foundation on my lips and then going in with my NYX lip liner and just really lining my lips adding a little bit of a base for my liquid lipstick and then I'm just going in with the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Celebrity Skin. Let me tell you, this is honestly so gorgeous. It really reminds me of Dolce K by Kylie and I just love it. And of course, you know me, just sing along, Justin Bieber, I can't get enough. Then I'm just going to set my whole face with this setting spray. And moving on to hair, I'm just going to literally spray some dry shampoo in there. Like, I wash my hair a few days before and then I put it in braids. Boom, I was ready to hit the town. Of course, take some selfies. But then I realized what time it was and I was out the door. Hey 
guys, I just want to say a quick thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you guys liked the look. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like, you know, all that jazz. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!